Welcome, 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 welcome. The welcoming prayer. We're here for our welcoming prayer practice. I'm so grateful to be with you today, whenever and wherever you are. I'm here in the Redwoods in California in the United States. Beautiful spot. The trees go way up above me and are totally surrounding me. There's a labyrinth here on the ground in front of me that I've been walking, preparing for this time to share with you the welcoming prayer practice. The welcoming prayer is a practice that's designed to be done in those moments of everyday life where we feel that need to connect, to consent to God's divine indwelling. That moment, perhaps it's a moment of anxiety and stress, that in this moment, oh my gosh, you want to do something that's not kind. You want to do something that gets completely into who you are and how you feel in a way that is not pleasant. It's maybe even tortured. You're, you're in this place. So for me recently, that's been being in a place with someone who doesn't like what I'm doing. I'm dancing in a public place. I'm lightly dancing in a museum in a place where nobody else is and the people of authority are fine but this person is unhappy with what I'm doing and I just want to be unkind back I think in that moment but to take the welcoming prayer my welcoming prayer practice in that moment to feel and sink into the body to sense that oh I feel threatened oh I feel endangered whatever it might be but for me I felt all of these sensations. I didn't feel good enough. I felt like I was, there was something wrong with me. When in that moment, I need to feel and sink into the body, welcome my experience, welcome myself in this moment as it is. Welcome the divine indwelling being there with me. The divine indwelling that's always there that as I consent to God's presence and action in my life, I consent the divine indwelling and let go. Let go of the desire for security, affection, control, and embrace this moment. Yes, it is. Embrace this moment. Oh, so the welcoming prayer is a practice that has three movements. The first movement is to feel and sink in. The second movement is to welcome the feelings, welcome the sensations, welcome the divine indwelling, welcoming the divine indwelling and letting go, letting go of the desire for security, affection, and control, and embrace this moment as it is. So we're gonna spend some time here practicing so that when we need the welcoming prayer in the moment, when we need to be able to inhale acceptance and exhale surrender, we can. So feeling your feet on the ground, or wherever your feet might be, sense them, the feeling. Maybe you're sitting in a chair and your feet are on the ground or laying on a bed or standing. Feel that sensation, the feet, the toes. You have all of, if you have all of these parts of your body still there, sense them. If they're not there, imagine them coming to your ankles. So at any time, if I refer to a body part that for you doesn't resonate or is not part of your physical body anymore, Imagine, imagine the sensation, imagine the experience, the energy that's there. So as you come up your legs, we've come from our ankles now, which give us great flexibility. Come to the calves and the shins and the knees. Feeling them, sensing them, noticing. Noticing any feelings or sensations. The body is a record of all the things that happen to us and many emotions, experiences are recorded. And when things happen, they can be brought up again. A feeling by itself or no feeling at all. But past experiences, emotions, memories can be brought up and sensed in the body and not even identified, but just sensed. And so as we feel and sink into the body knowing that there may be many things behind what we're feeling or just the moment. The moment. Being in the moment as it is. So we come up the legs, the thighs, the hips, the part that we sit on. Noticing the sensation of sitting, the creation parts of the body. 
coming up to the torso. The na'al, the space between your rib cage and your navel. And many emotions and thoughts can be felt. Coming up the torso, coming up the back with the lungs, the breath. All the body parts, the organs that are keeping us so delightfully alive. In this moment as it is, we are alive. You can feel the breath coming through. I always think of the breath in the front here with the heart, but really our lungs are in our back. And so notice, where do you feel your breath? Is your breath slow, quick, deep, shallow? loud. Just notice your breath. As we come up to the shoulders, the clavicle, the collarbone. Is there any tension here in the neck? Maybe you move a little to notice and help you feel and sink into that part of your body. To the arms, the shoulders, the biceps and triceps, the elbow, the wrist, the fingers, and the other side, the shoulder, the bicep, the tricep, the elbow, the forearms, the wrist, the hands, the fingers. Notice. Notice. Notice the feelings and sensations. Notice the being, the body, the oneness. And coming up the body to the throat, the neck, the head, the ears, the back of the head, the space behind the eyes, behind the nose, the nasal passages, the back of the mouth. Notice. And then to the front, the lips, the whole mouth, perhaps press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Notice the air coming in and out of your nose, if you can do that. Yes. The eyes, maybe you can see and look around where you are and when you are now. And perhaps keeping them closed and looking the inner vision into the third eye and the crown of the head, noticing, noticing the body, feeling and sinking in, welcoming, welcome, welcome, welcome. And welcome the feelings and the sensations. This doesn't mean you welcome the trigger that may have caused the pain. I don't welcome an injury that happened to me that makes my shoulder stiff, but I welcome the sensation of having a stiff shoulder, that I'm so lucky to have a shoulder that I can move, that it's there. I don't welcome the pain of the broken heart, of the of loss of people that I love, but I welcome the fact that I have a heart, and that my heart can still feel, and that my heart could have loved, and loved deeply and greatly, and was with wonderful beings for so long and then now I feel these sensations and perhaps for me as I come to the now this is the place where I sense anxiety stress is often here in a moment when I'm taken aback and most want to come to the welcoming prayer it's here that I feel it this now this place between my rib cage and my navel it's a Hawaiian word, the now. And I didn't introduce myself. I'm Pule Lehua from Honolulu, from Contemplative Outreach Hawaii. Although today I'm in California. So there we go. God takes us wherever we might be. So as you feel and sink into the body, welcoming all that you're feeling, welcome the divine indwelling, the indwelling presence, the divine being. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome the divine, the indwelling, the presence. 
the mystery, the miracle, whatever it is that connects you to that higher power, that being, that God, that which is connecting in this moment, in this place, in this time. As we welcome, 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 welcoming all that we're experiencing, welcoming this moment, welcome the divine indwelling. Welcome, welcome, welcome the divine indwelling in this moment. The indwelling spirit, the divine presence, the mystery, the miracle, the guardian, the mother, the God, the Christ, the divine therapist. Welcoming whatever it is that for you, welcome. And then the last movement of the welcoming prayer is to let go. To let go. Let go. This doesn't mean that we won't still process them and have them with us. It means we're not holding on. To me, it's about not holding on so tight. Instead, I allow the hands of the divine to open up for me and hold me and hold all that's happening with me in this moment as it is to be held to be loved to be cherished to let go as we let go we let go let go i let go of the desire for security affection and control and embrace this moment Embrace this moment as it is. I let go of the desire for security, affection, control. I embrace this moment. the times of my life where I'm struggling, when things are really out of whack, those are the times where I really can feel God's presence sometimes. Sometimes they're the times where I really question whether or not God is here at all with me, whether or not there is a divine being, whether or not there is a presence within. But sometimes they're the moments where I can most sense. Maybe you have moments when you can sense the divine indwelling. Perhaps for you, there are times in your life where you can sense the divine indwelling. Maybe it's happened for you once. Whether you've actually been able to sense the divine indwelling or not, the divine indwelling, that indwelling presence is with you. So the experience of sensing the divine indwelling is delightful, something I think we as humans want to have. But it's not important in that the divine indwelling is always with us, listening, being. So now take some time for the welcoming prayer in your own time and space. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I will talk you through it, settle into your space, and then I'll leave you in silence for two or three minutes as you can gaze at the trees and see what is for you at the moment. Oh, with your eyes closed, wherever you are in the world. The first movement is to feel and sink into the body. And take some time for yourself to just sense the body, sense your being. The second movement is to welcome all that you're experiencing and welcoming the divine indwelling, that indwelling presence. And the third movement is to let go. I let go of the desire for security, affection, and control, and embrace this moment.
Welcome. Is it time to bring yourself back? Is it getting in? Put the space together. Welcoming prayer. I like to use the welcoming prayer as a vestibule into centering prayer, as well as a vestibule as I come out of centering prayer. So a place where I can gather myself and put, bring myself to a place where I can be in centering prayer, where I can be consenting to the divine and dwelling in that moment as it is. And as I come out of Centering Prayer, often I have all these things that came up for me during Centering Prayer, and the Welcoming Prayer is very valuable for me for processing that, knowing that that's going to To consent to the divine and dwell in God's presence and action in this moment, as it is. So again, to just review the Welcoming Prayer, the three movements to feel and sink into the body however you feel and sink in the best way for you to feel and sink in to welcome all that you're experiencing welcoming the divine indwelling the indwelling presence and to let go let go of the desire for security affection and embrace this moment. On the breath, inhale acceptance and exhaling surrender. Inhale and exhale into the next moment of your life. Perhaps into something good. Welcome, welcome.